All right, guys, we have a 221 EIS on bench. Um, this is the older style, and the way you can identify them is the spacing of the connectors. Um, the, the newer style, 2009 and newer, the connectors are closer together. The older style, style is further apart like this. Um, so we're going to be doing a password search on this one. So I have my harness. You can see I have the fuse out and I have my all lost keys fuse adapter connected to my 12 volt lead on the OBD. Okay, we're gonna go through our preliminaries first uh, for communication and make sure we have a good EIS to start with. So let's go ahead and open our software. Okay, so we're gonna set it to the side. Let's go into EIS. We're gonna select 221. First, we'll read it by the infrared, make sure we can get information out of it. So it's waiting for key to start. Go ahead and stick your special key in. Okay, so we got a good read from the IR. Now let's try CAN. Go ahead and click read data. Okay, so we got a good can read. There's my VIN. So now we can go into password search. Go ahead and click on that. And the drop down menu, we're gonna look for just 221 right there. Okay, click on all lost keys, easy yes. And it's gonna ask you to put the special key in. It's already inserted. So we're good to go. I have my all lost keys fuse cable connected to power up the EIS independently. Um, and we're gonna press okay. Okay, this read has begun. Um, so it's about a 12 minute read. What we'll do is uh, we'll speed up to the 99% mark and take it from there. Okay guys, we're at 99% on the read. It's just about 10 minutes, just a shy over 10 minutes. So that's pretty fast. Let's go ahead and put that into this folder. And we're gonna go ahead and load that file to the server. Select Easy S. There's our file. Go ahead and load that. And then we're going to, after we load it, go ahead and click on the auto check function and wait for it to calculate. It should take a, just about a minute um, and then we should have our answer back. All right, there's our password. We're good to go at this point. So we would just copy this, go into our EIS. If you haven't done a read, you would just do a read by can, paste your password in there and save your file. PIS with pass. So you can use that file to generate keys, um, to reset the EIS, anything like that. Um, so we're good to go. That's the 221, uh, people refer to it as the Amazonas chip. Uh, all lost keys. All right guys, on to the next one. Thanks.